In this episode of Discussion Room 95, is UANP org life decreasing? Is being varsity worth it? Student politics becoming more annoying than useful? Are we all doomed and getting more and more apathetic? All in this episode of Discussion Room 95. <laughs> Good day, UNP. Welcome to another What's episode up? of Discussion Room 95. <laughs> I'm here with Ryan, Holly, <laughs> and Kyler. And, and I'm Sevi. Okay, so <laughs> and Kyler. Um, we all know that uh, people want to know about UNP student life or campus life in general. Yeah. And this is without academics at all, especially those who want to get into UNP, like high school students, right? Yeah, um, for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> so there's a lot of opportunities in UNP because we all know that UNP is a really small school. You know, so like it's easy, I mean, not, not easy, but then it's, you have a better chance of getting into orgs, varsities, yeah. all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like the first thing that of course comes into mind when we think of student life or campus life is orgs, right? For yeah. sure. Yeah, for right. sure. So I just want to ask you guys to start off, um, to start off this topic, <laughs> <laughs> how is... UNP org life for you guys. Oh, okay. So I'll I'll go first. So okay. yes, again. <laughs> um, if you're a first time viewer, I'm obviously the oldest person here. Yes. And um, I was part of a political party. Can we can we say we can say the button? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was part of <laughs> Anima all four years. So like I was um member, it's like officer, blah blah, blah party head, blah. Just like I also was part of PMT for a year. Super fun, super fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was also part of merch for a year. Bet you didn't know that. Wow. I did <laughs> not know Just that. Just y'all young. All around, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> lahat so, na, lahat na. so in terms of orgs, medyo wide variety. Um, I can't say na <laughs> tumagal ako <laughs> sa anything aside from yung one political party. But yeah. So masaya naman. Parang ako personally, I just got like medyo bored with some of them. So. Mm. I quit. I'm a quitter. Oh, the quitter. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you whatever. <laughs> oh, well, me, I'm part of um, JMC, um, PMT, and Squadra. So, all of these three um, orgs, or actually, basta. Oh, hindi, basta. Ah, hindi, hindi naman org yung Squadra. Yeah, basta, you know, like. Varsity, varsity. 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 Um, varsity. You know, subunit of the CCO. Basta, all of these stuff. Whoa. I actually Whoa. got Whoa. into. <laughs> Um, when I was in first year pa lang. And I feel like it really contributed <laughs> to my growth. I think, yeah, I think orgs is where you meet your friends, di ba? True. A lot of your friends. Outside the block, it's, it's, it's in the org where you establish friendship and yeah, relationships. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that, that's the same with me because um, I actually met most of my friends through orgs. Uh, I, I, I joined, actually my org life started when I was second year. So I, was, I was joined PMT for like two years and then... Uh, I joined JMC towards the end of first year, mm-hmm. 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 and then I started uh, joining the varsity when I was second year. Yeah. So it was it was really cool. That's where I met most of my friends and the people I hang out with the most. So you're a baller. I'm not a baller. <laughs> you're man. a baller. You're a baller. <laughs> nah, you're nah, a baller. Nah, you're a baller. <laughs> Let me be cholo for one episode. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, I don't I I'm not part of any orgs actually, oh. uh, except for for JMC. But uh, wait, hold up. As Holly said, it's. It's a it, it it is a subunit of the corporate yeah, communication. Yeah, it's office. not. It's I'm with not three JMC it's people. It's not an org. Yeah. I'm with Hello. three JMC <laughs> people. It's okay. By the way, di yon nakapasok ng JMC. Just putting it out there. Anyway, what? <laughs> 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 okay. Kai. Me, it's okay, Kai. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So as as no you guys were saying, na, you, know, you guys met your you guys met your friends through through orgs. Ah, uh, I had to do that. The hard way. <laughs> I, no, but uh, you you're doing fine, man. Yeah. You're doing so fine. Mr. Popular guy. I, I, <laughs> Mr. Poggy. <laughs> Mr. Poggy. I know. Don't think uh, like <laughs> Also with Sevi, I, I joined JMC towards the end of first year because that's really the only time. Yeah, the only time. Yeah, the only time. Just one, yeah. one time. Because so I, I would know. When I started meeting more people. Nga. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, so yeah. Kyle Bitter. Great insight from you guys. But then before we dive deeper into the topic, mm-hmm. let's look at what our current UNP student body has to say in the room. The room. Yay, let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, 
right, so now we're with Angela, a 46YP MSCM student. So Angela, what do you think is the essence of joining organizations? Um, for me, the essence of joining in organizations is that I get to meet new people and especially um, you get to actually um, incorporate what you learn from those arts in, in real life. Like whenever you're in logistics and marketing and finance, you actually get to um, incorporate these things in the real world. So, okay. Also, you think it can help you yeah. in like after college? Yeah, since okay. I'm in I'm MSCM, I'm in management, so I this is really helpful for me since um, I get to um, explore and actually get to experience these kinds of things. Okay. So, if you were to ask, what org helps you in all of these? Um, I have Reverb oh, right wow. now. Reverb. Yeah. Shout out to Reverb. Hey. Shout out Reverb. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, for Angela. Okay, hey guys, so now we're with Nikki, Nikki T, a second year MSCM student. So Nikki, um, what's the essence of joining an organization? For me, the number one, like the number one essence is networking. Um, once you join the orgs, you get to meet new and amazing people, and because of that, you get to grow your talent and like, to be honest, you just grow as a human being or, or an individual pretty much. It's That's really sweet. fun. Mm -hmm. So, what org would you be a part of that would help you grow it? Um, actually, I'm part of a lot. I'm wow. actually part of MMC. I'm part of Merch now. I used to be part of the Dragons Business Club. I'm also the marketing head and kind of like assistant team manager to the men's basketball team. Oh. And I'm also the marketing guy for the women's futsal team. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my I applaud you. Nikki Tuasan is in demand. Nikki T, guys. Now we're with Nodge, a second year Paul Echo student. So Nodge, what do you think is the essence of being part of an org? Uh, for me, uh, usually the essence of uh, being part of an org is like, um, like how I see it, is an escape to uh, academics. Mm -hmm. Because as uh, the student body knows, uh, uh, being in academics is usually stressful. Yeah. And um, they usually uh, join orgs in order to like escape that stressfulness. Um, I mean, orgs can be stressful a little times, yeah. but like, uh, there's really not enough pressure in an organization. And also, uh, orgs allow us to like uh, hone our real life skills. Like for example, if you're part of uh, marketing in a certain org, uh, you can like improve on that skill in order for you to be ready in uh, in real life. Yeah, that's true. Maybe mm, that's yeah. Question. Um, are you affiliated with any other organizations? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, well, like what organization? Uh, right now, a uh, reverb organization. Wow. Reverb music. Shout out reverb. <laughs> now we're with Sophia, a second year BSBA student. So, what do you think is the essence of joining an org? Um, well, I think for me, the essence of joining an org is also knowing and to discover myself more, and also at the same time, being a better person, not only for myself, but for everyone here in the UANP community with the help of the people in the org. Um, can we ask what organizations are you affiliated with? Um, my orgs right now are Viare <laughs> and Reverb. Hey, Viare. Shout out Viare. We got a good one here. Reverb has a lot of shout outs now. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, now we're with Peter, a third year BSIT student. So Peter, what's the essence of joining an organization? Uh, actually, organizations are a way for students to think outside the box. So it's not just all about academics and working, but it's also a way to practice our critical thinking as well, like what we uh, established in UAMP. And it's not, I mean, there's a room for us students to have fun as well. And, so oh, if we may ask, what work are you a part of? Um, I'm, I'm part of Fear. And Shout out Fear. <laughs> and I'm a former member of Squad Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Hey guys, so now we have Bert, a second year MEM student. Hey guys. So Bert, what do you think is the essence of joining organizations? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't really know because I'm not part of any organizations. Okay. So yeah, sorry. But based on like what you observe, are you interested in joining any? Um, I guess I'm interested because when I see people from different organizations, they seem like a big family that contributes a lot to this to the university. Okay, thank you so much. For Thanks, your Bert. Hey guys, okay, thank you for your answer. So, what do you guys think of that? Like, what are your insights? Well, 
I specifically agree with what Nikki Tuasen said uh, about the networking thing. It's mm. that is true. I mean, besides the fact that y- you ma- meet a lot of great people, you make a lot of new friends, um, and the uh, I guess business aspect of it, you're able to meet people with actual skills, and maybe later on, um, sometime in your life, you might need them for actual professional stuff, and you you'll be able to, I don't know, give more more praise to their talents. Yeah. You know um, I, I actually want to talk about, I think that was Nodge who mm. said um, it's an escape from our academics. I can totally agree with that, especially, for example, um, in Squadra, you know, the, the environment is so different. Like, you just want to have fun. You forget about all the stress that, you know, that you're experiencing. And I think his point, that point is really important. I think for me, I want to focus on the last guy, the one that didn't have orgs. Okay, um, yeah. So... I think like the video we showed, yes, like I do agree that there are a lot of Picture people with know. orgs. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of people with orgs, no doubt. Um, we were all part of orgs. But I still think, based from my experiences in UANP, a vast majority of the school, they're like, wala well, orgs. Like Actually, a vast majority yeah, of yeah, the school. Yeah. Um, and Deva, even Cholo was like talking about that when in, in one of our meetings. Yeah, right? yeah. He, he actually, oh, shout out to Cholo. He actually <laughs> mentioned <laughs> uh, that his batch. <laughs> Is not really active in org. That's what he said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not really yeah, active in orgs, you know. Orgs yeah. 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 So I don't know if it's just um, me not being in school that much, or uh, is it if it's really like that right now? So what do you guys think of that? Like, is 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 UNP org life really decreasing, or is it just you know? Uh, we just don't know. For me, I don't think so. I think okay. So to clarify, Chal is still technically in high school. Yeah. So actually. there are so many things that they want to do more than just like orgs. They're not yet in that. I mean, not to generalize, but this is how I, you know, based on experience, this is how I thought when I was in high school. Like, you know, this is high school. Yeah, I same, just want to have fun. Same. I don't want to mm. have responsibilities. I just want to play basketball. Too, too, yeah, right? Too many yeah. responsibilities because, yeah, we're still in high school and that's what high school is all about. And then, so, for example, when I moved to college, I was like, okay, dito na ako so Like, I'll try my best in everything, you know? So, parang I think it's more of like that. So, you can't really blame them if they don't want to be a part of an org. Yeah. I mean, uh, along along with, with Chola, there's also... Oh. Like <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, like Chola, so like, like, uh, <laughs> Just a correction. I think Chola's a first year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not, he's not anymore. First, first year. year. He's first year. He's he, did, first year. he entered as a 6YP, but then he shifted to... Why did you Wait, think he was high school, school Holly? Yeah, yeah, what small? Small? what, what small? about him? Huh? <laughs> Is it because he's small? <laughs> no. Huh? Kyle's small. Look at him. No. He graduated already. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. So back to the point. Okay, back. back, <laughs> back okay. To the point. I, Along I, with I, Cholo, I, there are also um, non six way people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Besides the small people, there are also non six way P or um, actual students taking up their bachelor bachelor's degrees na freshie. But mm-hmm. then they also take up lots of orgs. And then a lo- the other half is like, you know, they don't want to take any orgs. Like yeah. But like you, that like you. Know, that's actually one of the things that I observed in school was um, the per- perception of people when it comes to a person with orgs. So I like, I overachiever, like, yeah, you know, BS org, you know, like, and stuff like that. And then, for example, if you don't have an org, you So So it's, I think, I don't know. It's just do whatever you want to do, the right? Yeah, but that, that's the scary. That's the scary thing, you know. Okay, I agree. Okay, like I know Cholos first year. Yeah. Pero yeah. like, <laughs> even if the argument was na high school, siya, that's the scary thing, eh? Because since we have senior high, na the line between high school and college is so blurred, na. Yeah. So what? I agree. And the, what's like the boundary wherein you see na par? Okay, I have to change. Wala na, because it's yeah, just another not, year. That's, that's the na, thing. That's the thing. With, that's the thing with that. True. Actually. And that's scary, because for me, like. If I th- if I think about it, like those those younger batches, those kids. Yes, I can say kids because I'm old. <laughs> anyway, those kids Super old. are ki- <laughs> those kids are like, um, okay. So I don't care about orgs now. So silly batch that's upcoming. So at they're some, gonna be the future. Yeah, leaders, they're gonna bro. be the future. Like wala, mga wala. So is it medyo sensible to say na org Student culture apathy? will die if hindi itong mga if these students don't like start getting interest. I don't know, pero it's medio sad for me. Well, I guess there's like um there's different groups in every batch, right? So I guess 
maybe Cholo's group of. Is it much actually cool? Eh? Yeah, he's too cool. I think Cholo the kegs. No, but, no Chol- but then he's he's part of PMT though. Huh? Yeah, but that's yeah, the thing. Cholo's kind of like, may mga orgs and shit. Yeah, he has orgs. He has PMT. But then I guess in every batch, there's always this group of people or that percentage of students that really want to join into orgs. I'm sure like Cholo have some batchmates that are into like rock. They're into theater orgs, P- yeah. PMT, merch. And I'm sure they're pretty active as well. So, you know, like, from Cholo's point of view, I think that he's not uh, he's not showing everyone from his bats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm, okay. I guess when, we, when you think about it, um, to fix this, we have to get rid of the misconceptions that are going out right now. Because um, we dive deeper into the actual meaning of orgs being existent in in the university and we realize now you know it's for it's for honing your leadership skills yeah trying to grow l- yeah growth social yeah. skills working in a structure in a hierarchy that's that's what orgs are about but then i guess a lot of people get discouraged to join these orgs when because they when they start to think now oh, this is all about clout this is all about para para cool ako marami akong friends here we go or again para about clout oh yeah. yeah. like but like those are for explain clout but not directly it's not the, the main reason. yeah it's, it's not, yeah. It's not I guess the main reason it also comes to the point now like you realize that you have to grow in order to like be successful in the future you have to develop your skills yeah. and it comes with maturity but when you want the org yeah. Yeah. but and but not to argue with you guys uh, pero I think again I'm not being a pessimist I'm just like I'm trying to look at this like in a very objective way that in itself is another reason why for me org culture is slowly declining because parang if the point of an org it's not even self growth sometimes dapat talaga it's sometimes service kasi kunya look at our orgs pro- project management team you make events right yeah. um you make for merch you make ano you make, make merchandise tapos with with documentation yes i agree it's supposed to practice your craft but at the same time it's like you're doing a service right and mm-hmm. all the other orgs my point lang is it's if if okay segmented na mayroong people who love orgs but the vast majority of everyone else doesn't care at all walang point ang org where you're supposed to serve if there are no people to serve in the first place so let's say PMT gets, gets. Okay, okay. Be, if yeah, the more yeah, yeah. people na apathetic outside PMT the less relevant PMT will be because even if they oh, make a yeah, project walang true. point walang pupunta, oh, yeah. walang pupunta. Yeah. pupunta yeah. right so that's the giant argument. But it's very sad to look. But at. then there are some orgs that don't necessarily have events that target the school. I mean, like Catalyst, they target. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Target, yeah, yeah. Target, um, outside the school, help people. You Which know? is why to answer uh, to to answer what the, the issue Kyle was bringing up, uh, a big answer to fix all of this, uh, to remove that group of people who are getting discouraged or becoming apathetic is to remove those boundaries or those misconceptions that they have about the orgs talaga. It's to realize the true meaning of it so that it will be more fulfilled. The people who are part of PM, uh, as an example, the people who are part of PMT right now can have more people to serve yeah. when those mis- misconceptions are gone because more people are going to be participating yeah. for those misconceptions are those? In, in nga, like I said earlier, misconceptions like uh, orgs are all about cloud chasing. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. all about okay. the fame. It's yeah, all about yeah, making yeah. friends. You know, that's not the main point. Okay. Um. But I have a like you mentioned, Kyle, that like saying org life is like decreasing again. Declining. Uh-huh. Yes. Declining. I mean. Or, parang do you have a point of comparison? Like how was it during your time? <laughs> because your, oh, okay. your time. Oh, so it's like it's like we're talking like, <laughs> like we're not we're not in the same yeah. generation. Uh. I I get you. I get you. <laughs> Why are you always starting tension, Holly? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So hey, 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 enough with the inside anyway, joke. Anyway, okay. <laughs> anyway, so actually. This is a perfect segue because we have a new segment. Because mm-hmm. in the spirit of like discussion room ninety five, mm-hmm. we wanna like target w- everyone. Yeah, we wanna target. We want a wider discussion, right? So aside from we had Ganina the room, and then we have another th- surprise later. We also wanted to tap those who graduated na, and live in yes. a different world, yes. like the big, yes. the big boy world, na big girl, big boy, the real yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Month. <laughs> so, <Anyway. laughs> so these are people that are are outside of the university but are affiliated to the university. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so right now we actually have. Yeah, Via Arboleda. Yeah. Yeah, we have a former, ano? PMT president. Former PMT oh. president. Pwede ba sabay-sabay when we say the okay. name of the, ano? So, everyone, please, please welcome, welcome 
afterthought. Yeah. Oh. It was a waste of time. <laughs> okay, hear this. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Student life in UANP, aka org life. So, personally, I really like the org culture in UANP because first and foremost, I know we come from a small university, but the options that we have for our extracurricular activities are are a lot and. You know, we could choose either from our varsities, our home orgs, and even orgs that cater to personal interests, which I think I was more involved in. And I guess that goes to show that as students, we really do have the liberty to choose and we have control over a time. Kaya we can choose how many orgs we want, either major in org tayo or minor in org. And um, it just goes to show that we're more than what people perceive of UANP students. and. We get to do more than belong, and I think that's really nice. Because, you know, orgs also enrich our university experience. And little do we know, the things that we do in org is maybe a career that we'd want to pursue after college. And I think that's one thing that I learned, na, because I was part of the project management team. Something along the lines of events management or client work is something that I want to pursue now that I am a graduate of UANP. So. Madami ka talagang matutunan and you get to meet a lot of people. You get to foster relationships that, you know, either you talk to them because they're great people to be with or they're people that you seek career financial advice for. And, you know, it just, I think org, the org life and UANP just encompasses this whole liberal arts education that UANP is so proud of. And that we get to practice even in our org. So isn't that, you know, the best of both worlds? And I think at the end of the day, I mean, we go to school to study. So sometimes there's really that struggle of finding the time for your orgs. But I think if you're really passionate about what you're doing, you're really going to find time for it. Because I hope when I had my orgs in school, it was such a stress reliever. I mean, it's a different kind of stress, but it's a stress reliever aside from academics. And you know, at the end of the day, you you really get to learn something from it. You get to apply it even in classes and I guess even in your life outside the university. So that's what's so great about orgs. And I hope that the orgs that we have now will be will still be there when, you know, in 50 years time because just the culture is so heartwarming, it's so inviting and it's so motivating to be in. That's why you don't even want to leave and you get so attached to it even though you know, you've you've graduated the organization or the varsity or, you know, the group in general. So yeah, thumbs up to the org life and UANP. And I hope you guys get encouraged to join one. It may it's not too late. If you're in your senior year, go ahead because you just have a certain amount of time to live in the university. So might as well make the most out of it. So yeah, there. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was great from V. <laughs> um but again Dude, you already, you guys already call me old, so I don't want to be that grumpy old dude. <laughs> the grumpy grandpa. Like, okay, that's what grumpy you are. Grumpy grandpa. That's okay. your new nickname. I feel like medyo misleading din yung segment ni Via. Did you just call me grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Um, medyo misleading din siya, honestly. Ooh. Because, because. Okay, so, because Via, when we were in like yung mga... Parang kami yung mga nasa orgs, right? Kami yung mga talaga manpower of orgs when you were trying to climb the positions and all that stuff. Yeah. I agree with what she said. Nung time na yun, very colorful and all that stuff. Um, and daming opportunities and all that, on, on, in all that, right? And she was a great president. But I really can't say the same for like how it turned out. Like nung hindi na siya or like yung... Uso. Gen- oh, hindi Parang na siya uso. I just, I'm so sorry, but like, I love the younger generation because parang yeah. I feel vibe ba? So, de joke lang. I feel <laughs> older pero yeah. I really can say na contrary to what you guys were saying kanina na parang um, do, just do what you want it's sa kanila they just really don't care like yun yun like the people in the orgs or no, the people, the people outside not? yung mga yung mga up and coming yung mga magiging next na magiging via in the future like if you look at them Wait, if you listen to them, how they talk and how they approach this whole org life thing, mm. they simply don't care. It's not a matter of like, do they want to join an org or they don't want to join? No, no, they don't care. Like, wala silang preference how at all. How do you all. know? 
from okay, again being the grumpy old man of the group. Grumpy I really grandpa. I really from the younger generations, lalo na first year like 6YP people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying everyone ah, please. Yeah. No Pero li- I'm no just saying generation. of course and dami pa ring star na 6YP na kunya like Rafi Villarosa, right? Ano, uh-huh. first um na naging USG. Um, yung mga younger generations the first year second year na nag excel sa orts i agree but a vast majority of them in my opinion simply don't care and that's a problem kasi kahit ga- oh, remember like lalo na kunya kayo uh, the two of you mm-hmm. let's say you s- suddenly ano uh, join an org kunya maging president lang kayo din kayo ni like via in the future third year fourth year mm-hmm. right yes what's the point of you leading Kasi pag andong ka na, it's not about growing anymore. It's like leading to serve. Yeah, you know, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. When there's nothing to serve. Going back to that point again. So, pan, yeah. so like what you're saying is, what what can we, so like your main concern is the people we are going to serve. Is what I, main yeah, my main concern is, the decline of orgs is not because of the people in the who org. are in the orgs. It the orgs are great. Yeah, honestly, it great. Yeah. it's yeah. about the environment the orgs are in. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> actually, I want to input something in that because uh, I think, parang I get where you're coming from when they they say like when you're saying like they don't care because in the first place when we join orgs we don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Yes, we know about all the good stuff. Na parang oh you're gonna you know y- you can. You can grow from this. Exactly. Yeah, like like all the level. cliche stuff. Yeah, in a surface yeah. level. But yeah. y- you don't know the consequences of getting into an org. And I think that's when they don't care anymore because they know that if they stay in this org or something like that, it's just gonna be l- like there it's it's stagnant already. Gets like for example, okay, we can classify organizations as teams, right? W- you would consider orgs as teams. Yes. And so talking about teams, we have squadra. Mm-hmm. Wh- which I'm a part of, the ba? Um, and Wait not na. only uh, for my varsity. Sample, sample nga mo. Uh, pwede ba sample? <laughs> or kami magsasample kung <laughs> hindi ka nagsample. <laughs> okay, yun na lang. Audition na. <laughs> Baka bagong segment. Wink, prod. Anyway, so... Okay, okay. Oh, you're Isang saying. Isang ocha-ocha naman. You're Sige saying, na. you <laughs> Sige, fine. Okay, so... I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know hey, don't lie. <laughs> anyway. Um, mm. Anyway, so... Going back. Parang it's not just my org that experiences this. For example, when I, when I auditioned for Squadra, I didn't know... Uh, the amount of effort that I had to put into this, the amount of commitment, you know, um, not only that, but also like how much I had, I'd have to shell out, not just like you know, not just money, but then also my, as in my time, my effort, everything, um, and that's the thing, like, um, the, I think for basketball, it's like that yeah. also. Yeah, but then like I mean, back to what Via said, uh, she <laughs> mentioned stuff about uh, <laughs> passion and commitment, and no matter how stressful, stressful. Um, the org was with for her, like it was still a stress reliever in a way. Yeah, I agree. Academics. I yeah, agree, yeah. definitely. I mean, like I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, yeah. parang okay. So where I'm coming from is that, um, it's just so hard to be part of a team or an org if you don't have any support. Agreed. Yes, yes. Right. I agree. I agree. Like once you're there, okay. Like you're excited. You're driven. You're 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 motivated to do all of these things. But then. Mawawala din yung motivation mo when no one's even like supporting you. Like support outside the org, you mean? Yes. Yeah, support mm. outside the and org. From diba? Everywhere. Like for example, for me, like um But you're but you're still squadra, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. still squadra. Yeah, I love so squadra. So you, you, you love squadra. I love squadra. <laughs> like, love it. Sige nga. So no matter sige how much you want. Sige, nga, prove it nga. Sige prove nga. Prove it. <laughs> like no <laughs> like uh, no, no matter how much I have to sacrifice, I would still stay in squadra. But then yeah. my my point is I parang I just hope that the student body can recognize us varsities because I feel very underappreciated not uh, not oh. me I mean whoa, like as, whoa, a team, okay. as a team yeah, as a team yeah. as a team we yeah. feel I underappreciated mean you guys won, won a lot of like for example awards, going watching our game or uh, watching our games our performances mm-hmm. our competitions that would mean so much because like um, if you don't know, which yeah, you don't know, but then we, we when we dance, we get our energy from people, from yeah, each other, mm-hmm. and then from people. That's really yes. same, especially in competitions. <laughs> that's same like when I dance, that's like, like people people for sure. when, uh, the competing teams <laughs> against you have so many people, you know, screaming mm. for them yeah. and stuff like that. So, parang get y- do you get parang my point? Yeah, 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 yeah like get my get frustration <laughs> also. And yeah, I think that 
I think that the, like I'll I'll just be circling back to what I said earlier. I I really think that um, it all goes back, and it resonates within the mindset of the people. That's what you have to bring back, you know, supporting, and not being apathetic anymore. And I guess maybe maybe I'm 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 not saying I'm not I'm not saying it like it's a concrete thing, but just maybe it the orgs can also uh, try something different maybe in how they advertise themselves to. Um, reach out more to the to the students not like they aren't o- aren't doing that already but it should be an updating thing coming from both sides because our times are rapidly changing yeah well uh, um, honestly for me like i'm part of the basketball team mm-hmm. right uh, shout out to my team <laughs> i love you guys <laughs> um but then for me compared to before i think the the support is not fully like there like everything there it's but then, better yeah it's better it's better, it's better than before, before for definitely sure. for sure um i just wish there was like um some more stuff there as athletes uh yeah. well like one thing is i mean i don't want to i don't want to like <laughs> you know uh be so demanding and everything okay, but then it's just it's just like these simple things like small things like transportation. um of course like transportation going to the games i mean uh I, we, ha- we have a game Yes, I plug Palasha. It's gonna be an yeah. actually San Beda Alabang. Yeah. So hey, imagine mga like South people oh, the living, na yeah, people <laughs> living from from the north and have to go all the way to Alabang on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of hassle, you know, like um finding a ride and then spending th- th- your money on. R- I mean, we get we get allowance of course from the school, but sometimes um it's not fit for. You know, yeah. our chance for fee. Then I you guess with that with that predicament uh, up in the air, it it belongs more to you know the management or the yeah. certain departments that relay with the with the varsity teams yeah. that have to do something or have to improve something. It's uh, a little bit less of the 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 students themselves now with that. Yeah, but I then think you guys are doing great. Yeah, w- I mean, our teams are improving slowly. I mean, it's uh, Rome wasn't built overnight, right? Yeah. So like we we gotta keep on improving, but the Rome. The, r- what, what the Rome, what? Rome. I mean, Rome, Rome, Rome. But then, yeah. I mean, like, I just wish there was more of that support, like yeah. transpo. Uh, like we always, we also keep talking about how you know the, the university lack, like you know the what do you call the spirit, like oh how yes, the other schools have that, that spirit. I'm looking at like the camera. Like we, we freaking, we are slogan is literally unitas but then oh. for me that's not what i feel she's opening <laughs> a, a very deep box here okay okay unitas. but then going unitas. back stepping out <laughs> no but okay well ako din kasi since i'm the captain of the push up team <laughs> <laughs> and anyway um since wow, i'm wow, galing <laughs> no, 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 no. wala akong varsity at team. all yeah, so what's, your what's your okay, take okay so yeah, since for me for me like i'm just trying to like when i hear you guys talk it is sad um, and though I apologize, na hindi rin ako, I'm not one of the people also na alam yun, goes to games regularly or watches yeah. show. May atraso pa ako Holly. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, so with that being said, Lolo, Lolo Kyle. Ano? It's not just with the younger batches na apathy is starting okay, to okay, loose. It's with your batch then. I agree. I agree. Okay. I agree. Pero. So in all spectrums. So I just feel bad because if I. If I stop and think about it, the only reasons w- why you guys are still there is just because of two things. It's either you really, really love what you're doing, yes. like the passion of it yeah, all. Yeah, two is so. two yes. for the rare ones. Gusto niyo talagang paglaban yung school spirit, and that's so sad. Because if that's those are the like, you should be given more values, not just by, um, by students, but you know, like we said, maybe from the admin, like in just like mm-hmm. maybe. Giving you for um, costumes, like or something like that. Yeah. Um, in transpo, because like I know um, that's possible to some degree, or t- even the students, na parang alam mo yon, parang we're repping our school. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not ranting or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I really yeah. appreciate. But it would just be better. I, I love, yeah. I, love yeah. I, I appreciate the yeah. what the school is doing for us, like equipment and yeah, facilities yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that, and just, you know, a little bit of support. It's just like constructive criticism. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Because me and the push-up club, we were already there. We were already there. Where did Yeah, yeah. Yung last yeah, namin was like gold medal. <laughs> uh, 7,000 push-ups. Oh! Sample. Nga. Five Sinigumua. minutes. Sinigumua. Huh? Sinigumua. Ay, di ako. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. I think that's like, it's just a bit sad for me. Well, 
um, me honestly, I can't really blame the students for not really watching our games and everything. Because, <laughs> because it's like it's their choice, no <laughs> if they want to to watch or not. If I mean, if they're not basketball fans, then you know yeah, you don't have to watch sure, basketball. Sure. If, you, if you're not a dance fan, then don't watch dance. dance. You know, dance yeah. what? <laughs> dance, <laughs> dance fan. Dance fan. I I don't know. I don't know what you call. It. What do you call your fan? <laughs> Squadronatics. <laughs> Squadronatics. Oh, no. Squadronatics. But yeah, like, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, like, if you watch, then okay, we, we we're happy you're there. But then if you don't, it's like, it's okay. I mean, if we're not if you're not there when we're okay. losing, don't be there when we're winning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bars. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. okay. But I, I agree to some extent. But like, I know, like hot take. Please don't hate me, anyone out there. <laughs> but um, I see other universities na. Pack stadiums, kahit na tatalo sila. I don't I like, mm. and you can't tell <laughs> me. Kunyari, kunyari basketball. You can't tell me that every person from that school knows what's going on sa sa game. Yeah. I s- promise, it's so <laughs> out of like, it's so true. out of like school spirit. And in some sense, unity. Tapos so tayo, we bang our chest na unitas. So what's going on here? That's the thing. That's the thing. Where is it? Where? It, oh, okay. oh. Opening the box ah, again. Right, right. <laughs> let's open, I'm just let's open <laughs> the box. Let's open oh, the box. God. Because there's something I want to say about that. The shoe box. And it's that UANP is <laughs> uncomparable to these other, you know, other universities. I mean, we've only been around for 25 mm. years. Mm. Almost uh-huh. 25 years. Mm. Yeah. Right? Okay. And we're, we're a work in progress. One thing's for sure. We have not lacked in progress ever since yeah. things started I agree. and we always talk about how we're a small university literally diba? and maybe that's why yeah maybe I that's mean, why we're not yeah. we're not selling out stadiums like all these other bigger universities and let me just say right now that's exactly why we're a cut above the rest uh-huh. yeah I mean, uh-huh. right. I mean i guess <laughs> i see where ralph's trying to go okay yeah. <laughs> but then in the first place like honestly i didn't go the way and to join a varsity I came here to, to basically study, like just go to school, just go to college. Um, yeah, and I mean, we all are pretty sure that we know that UNP is not known for its sports. You know, like yeah, it's, but it's we're trying to get there. Yeah, right? we're trying to get there, of course. I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be, but I wasn't even planning on playing anymore in college. So I guess um, that's where I'm coming from. Now. Like, um, I know our program isn't the best, so I don't expect a lot of support right yeah. now. But but still, like, <clears throat> I mean, y- you should expect that. Yeah, I mean, diba? basically, me, it's just I'm just playing for the love of the game, you know. Yeah. Just to keep playing, just because I can still play, you know, because after college I might not even to be be playing anymore. But so. I think it's important then, because to, like, yeah, okay, super agree with Ralph's point. We are a young university, right? Pero I think it's important then to start talking about these things, because mm. like, hindi not like we will, we won't grow to that. The final UANP, like, do you get me? Like, what it can be if di natin na acknowledge yung facts na ganun, na parang yeah. it feels like walang support, whether it's coming from students, yeah. um, admin, or even like student leaders, like the USG, right? So, yeah. my point lang is for me, medyo like, I you're saying na parang okay, medyo new pa yung, yung basketball team, like, yeah. hindi kasing ganda yung program, but like, let's say a team like Squadra, right? They're winning a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, they are. Like sure. they're really, Shout they're really good. Ra. So it's the same story. Like, um, may na no no od pero hindi sobrang dami. Yeah. Sobrang konting percentage of university. I think where we can, you know, um, improve is, for example, of course we want um support from the student body, and one way of doing that is through the USG because they are representatives of the student body. Right? Yes. Um, Amen. but then there is one thing I actually wanted to point out because being a varsity member, I know that, you know, people run and they would they would propose their projects, right? Um yes. and the projects is actually the selling point as to why we actually we vote for that person. Yes, but yes, yes. what my question now is like I know um for example, during the the campaign season, which is actually about to start, uh-huh. am I right? Yes. Yeah. Um you have a lot of, you know, proposed projects or policies that you want to implement in the university and then okay so parang nabenta yung tao diba they, they, they believe you ganyan like me like me yes and then so so we vote for you but then <laughs> when the time comes that you're wh- when the time comes 
when that person is in office, where where are all the projects? Where are all the things that you promised us? I'm not I'm not I'm not talking about the box. you know it is, I am opening open. the box. I think okay, this is go. something that we should talk about <laughs> open the box. because um you know as a as a thought leader yeah. right of yeah. this of this okay. university Discussion. we should discuss about this because this is not hate this is not uh, no, this is what we observe and this is for constructive criticism yeah. like we really need to step up our game because I believe in UANP as in we're we're good university for 25 years we've we've already reached like certain standards that mm. no other university has Agreed. done right. so what we have to fix now is actually the student apathy and how can we fix student apathy when the usg themselves not 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 it's not limited to a certain administration in general the usg themselves are not you know initiating okay. as well yeah. right? but so i'm not being i'm not generalizing okay yeah so that's true. I I agree with that, uh, and I'd like to add na yeah, a, a lot of times that's a reoccurring process. Na uh, some people promise certain things and then uh, they they don't actually get fulfilled in the end. Pero here's where where the will of the mass, the wi- the will of the people steps in. Instead of pushing forth these complaints and these things uh, to your friends, and you know, the mga moments, yeah, you know, put it in yeah, some. Yeah. In some page, <laughs> you know, actually <laughs> talk to those, about. talk to your representatives, yeah. talk to those people. This yes. zooming out, this this applies to us as Filipino citizens. A lot of us talk talk bad stuff about the current administration. But how many of us are going to our, to the local government units and proposing proposing these things that are going on? How many of us are actually taking a stand in explaining what's wrong instead of just talking about it? That's true. I agree. <laughs> and <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. Okay, but can, can I can I can I just share as someone like who lived in that sphere of UANP <laughs> life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not easy because it's not I understand your sentiments, right? Yeah. Especially with the USG and like Shempre It's not limited to USG. Yeah, yeah. Like bodies in general. No, right? I'm saying that it's not even them. I think the pinaka ruta. I agree. Some of these things are very like uh, mediocre, or some some nga are very like like inefficient na na parang wala nang point. Very um, more irritating na nga than relevant. Eh. But the pinaka root on why it all spread out is for me, ah, for me, my opinion, the bylaws and constitution of student politics in school is broken. What do you it's mean? How so? Inf- it's broken. I don't know. How so? Example. <laughs> example. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting example. hot here. Kind of, know example. Saying, example. Bro. Example. I don't understand why you still run as blank rep and then when you win, you're something else. Parang you, you can't implement the... No. Yeah, diba? Parang, okay, so I run as, let's say I'm an SMN. Let's say I'm an SMN rep, diba? Because I'm mm-hmm. from SMN. Oh, I run for the SMN uh, as an SMN rep. So malamang, may kita mo dun. It's Kyle Valencia, SMN rep, can, uh, SMN candidate, right? Yes. So all of my projects and platforms Are will for be SMN. for SMN. SMN because but you're when getting I, their votes. When I get there, I become the, let's say, Seago yes. yes. or something. Yes. So do you get me? It's yeah, not... Yeah, okay, yeah. So, I understand So, so now. let's say yung concern mo na parang, oh, meron silang mga pre-namis, tas hindi na-implement. Yeah. Because the system is broken. In the I mean, first I mean, place. Like, I mean, there are some projects one that the like I, I I remember like some projects they proposed during their camp. I mean, campaign periods like not <laughs> specifying a year, <laughs> but then they were making projects based on their position that they wanted. So you know, like there's projects for their home, their their court, uh, their school, and there's projects for their position. So you know, I saw a bit of a balance there yeah. as well. But, uh, but I think, but la sorry. Um, this is a very, I know, medio history lesson. I don't know if like, cause like, sure, sure, I was part of a party and like, you know, some of my our, our like veterans, the our graduates, yes. like explained na the constitution is still tailored to the old USG. When I say old USG, that basically <laughs> means that did you know before you voted for a president, you ran mm. as a president, you run, uh, you run yeah, as yeah, a VP. Yeah. Okay. Well, like that before. Before. I don't, so parang it was like parliamentary that before. Parliamentary something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, parang our constitution, our omnibus code, like yes, nagka mga constitutional convention. Parang na, malabo. Kasi. Pero parang it's still tailor fit to that. 
So I don't know. I just for me, it's very discouraging. You have to innovate. Yeah, yeah like it's a major like, like I don't care. Call it a rant na per like for someone like me na talagang gave my heart and soul dun sa sphere na yon, which is student politics and you, ano, it's just sad na parang you can only fix do so or much. do so much yeah. when the platform is broken itself. Yeah. So bring the basis for everything, okay. the foundation. And this is what you do when you open the box. Okay. I'm so and sorry, my, my but then this is what our audience wa- on the audience yeah. wants. So and my my interpretation of that actually is, um, I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible. Um, these platforms that they that they pose as they're running for certain school representations, uh, yeah, the certain school they're trying to represent. These are these are like a, parang. It's like feeling the waters of what they're what they're actually for. But then, what you have to understand is when they're actually part of the USG, na, when when they're in that, mm-hmm. um, that's where equality kicks in. Now they're not, they don't want to give people this sense na they're serving only one school, and that's when all those platforms proposed earlier on come into this one holistic framework that everyone gets to work with. Even though sometimes hindi natin nararamdaman na it's specifically serving those platforms mentioned earlier on. It's trying its best to serve it along with all the other schools. That's my that's my interpretation of it of why it's becoming like that. But as always, you know, improvements are possible. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, definitely. But then there I are believe s- in um, some USG members that also partner with their home orgs, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So exactly. Where do you get me? Na parang y- 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 what I, what I'm saying is like it's fine to have projects, especially like before I would push people now when they made platforms. It's like what can you an SMN rep give to the rest of the school, something like that, right? Yeah. Pero yun nga, na par- it's kind of blurred. Na par- I give you three projects, na purely for SMN. Tapos uh-huh. pagdating don, I'm supposed to make parang yung palam ang daming team efforts, and I had so I have so many tasks. Na, eh, that's why madami nga. And I wanna add din na, like ito again. Um, I'll be gone my next year, so <laughs> I really don't care. Pero no cap, no cap, bro, no cap, bro. I, like I understand that the USG now has supporters. Mm-hmm. They have, um, they were critics, but like very like yeah. people who call them accountable, yeah. and they have haters. But let me tell you the truth. I actually, I converted away with this USG. Mm-hmm. I'm actually, well, like majority of them, <laughs> majority of the USG members. You know why? Because like, I think that they have accepted the fact that again, the system is broken. And we yeah. will sacrifice the advertising, yung mga stuff na feel mo, to fix these systems even though you don't feel it. So that in the future, the USG can be more relevant. That's a hot take for me. That's what I see from them. Yeah. And like, I agree. Kasi okay, like, okay. We had a con- I, I had a conversation with them na parang they were explaining na, yeah, like, we're, we're more of principle than like, uh, pakitang, pa- pakitang gilas na lang. Like, oh. it's okay if you guys don't feel us because we want to fix the future of yes. what the USG can be, and this and this addresses the the current student body right now. Na, uh, walang ginawa kundi complain about it because honestly, a lot of th- the things that are being achieved are being achieved in the background. Exactly. Hindi, hindi sila lahat maingay. And it's necessary. Yeah, super the necessary, necessary ones are being achieved. That's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, ah, whoa. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, Interesting okay. stuff. Calm down, calm down. No. Um, like, siguro on a calmer note. Um, then again, I'm very optimistic because of yun nga, yung USG. But I just want to say na for everyone complaining in present day time, diba? Um, please know your facts. Like, no, exactly. like, like, before you complain, I hope you read even a part of the Constitution. Exactly. I, and I hope like, um, kung yari this elections, lahat ng tao magurant on like freedom wall or whatever yeah. i hope i hope ah i hope na talagang bumoto ka exactly mm. so do you get me exactly vote guys so, vote. Ni, yeah vote guys like just yeah don't make a failure of elections exactly. oh my gosh that's the worst like, thing that please. can happen one of honestly. the quotes that really resonates in my brain nga right now is what balakid said which is a, a flip top rapper sabi niya wow may hangganan ang lakas ng batikos dapat may pagsama-sama na pagkilos yeah. Oh. Medyo mali yung grammar ko, pero bars. Diba? Does that, that, that mean? Yeah. That Fire, bro. Um, our complaints, <laughs> what does that they mean? have what a certain limit. <laughs> action is what's important. Yes. So take action. Yeah. Collect Put it in action. You I agree. You know, like, yeah. It's in your hands. Or, your hands. or again, if you don't want to take action, you don't have the right to complain. 
If you're just one like if you don't care, don't complain. Yeah. Wag puro Dragon wag Ball po, Freedom post. Wag mo shadong yes. ano, wag mo shadong feisty. <laughs> like mo feisty, walang walang yeah, yeah, walang yeah. action yeah. at Agreed. all. And um maybe do you guys want to give your final thoughts on ano? On politics? Or I think it's a no, it's a I don't want. Sorry. It's, it's a, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm just I think we're all just trying to compromise here. So, I think Um, the USG is a perfect, or politics in general is a perfect avenue for change, right? Uh, even though we don't see it, uh, just believe and trust, trust the student, uh, the the USG and people in charge of this. And I think that's very important. And but then it's also important also to to voice out your concerns because that's you properly know, properly because that's that's what that's why we're here because. Supposedly, they're so sup- they're to serve us. So, parang there should always be compromise when it comes to both areas. Yeah, yeah I just, I honestly like, I think there's stuff that can be improved on. Yeah, you know, of course, but at the same time, you know, like, uh, we should give them credit. Yeah. To what they've done. Yeah. Okay. Um. Final thoughts. Yung what we learn in, in political economy is that uh, anything is considered political. When it addresses the the needs and the wants of uh, the common good of a community or or the individual itself, so when you think about politics, don't always just think the USG. Even what you do in orgs can be co- considered politics. We are the politics as people. Everything we do have has implications. So, don't just always go blaming a higher uh, administrative power. Sometimes the individual has faults in his or herself. Yeah, and I feel like for me, in terms of the politics, I I think it 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 really ties the whole thing together. We started with orgs, and then we talked about varsities, and then now we did um, po- politics, right? Student politics. I think it ties it together in a sense that before we are quick to judge anything, any of these, uh, to care not to care, to join not to join, to support not to support. I think it's important for us to really understand the context of each. Whether it's understanding the constitution for student politics, whether it's understanding that for varsities they get their love for what they're doing from the support they get, or even from the org sense, na parang um, you know the the orgs are only as valuable or as relevant as the like the surrounding environment, which are the people that they're trying to serve. So I think you know we really have to stop like this, parang I don't care, hence I will hate. Culture, so, cause mm. how are we gonna get to where we want Unitas to be in yeah, the first place? Yeah. Drama. We opened we the box. The box. Now we closed it. Wait, wait the box. Lang. before <laughs> we close <laughs> the box, <laughs> wait long. So to, I know to to add a little more discussion, we actually have one last segment. One last Ooh. segment. One surprise, last surprise, segment. Baby. What's this segment called? <laughs> huh? uh, it's called. Off the wall. <laughs> off the wall. It's There's called off the wall. So again, um, this idea came from really amazing people from the behind the scenes of Dear Night Five. Shout um, out. Because like again, trying to push the discussion even further, we had um, people outside school. We had the people literally in school in the room, and then the other one with the alumni thing with Via, <laughs> <laughs> the name. Anyway, um, and then so this one, the man is for the afterthought, and then <laughs> for this one. <laughs> it's about the ones the man <laughs> who discuss online. Now yeah. you might say, "Take lang, didn't you guys have an episode na parang you were invalidating the Dragon's Freedom Wall?" But oh, no. but yeah. here's our yeah. attempt to drive more relevant and va- and very important issues there to give to highlight the ones that actually matter. Amen. So okay. rules and uh, no, rules is like Sevi being the main host, Pipiri siya ng one of us to read out one thing okay. and then we all react. So this is uh, Dragon's Freedom Wall 18916? 18916, yeah. Yes, 18916. So it's, it's basically about coffee. Oh. <laughs> so coffee? Yeah, Mga you, coffee lovers, yeah. Jan. So you want me to read it? Yeah, go. Okay, so. Yes, please. So it starts off, hi, okay, so I just want to share my opinion about the coffee being sold right now at the new cafe. So we have a new cafe. It's at the library. Uh, yeah, it's at the library. To the owners, I hope you take no offense when I say, lasang sunog coffee nyo. Sad face. And it's sad face. <laughs> and that's clear that you try... <laughs> to compensate. And it's clear that you try to compensate yung pagka sunog nyo niya with milk or sweet syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Ako si Sevi, di ako... 
Okay. So amoy pa lang parang sunog na. <laughs> I just don't think 120 to 150 pesos of burnt coffee is worth it. I know it's still your soft opening, but I just wanted to share my opinion as a consumer. So that's all I have to share for now. I hope you take this criticism not as an attack on your business, but as a chance to improve your product. Yours truly a concerned customer. I like, I like, I like it. Like, I, like I like how she, how he ended. Definitely. Yeah, like, that, that's, yeah, that's definitely how criticism should go. And that, yeah, that's a good thing for him eh, or that, her. That's yeah. an example of honest, though. an anonymous comment that was, you know, brought in the right way. And I've actually, I've actually seen this this post na pala before. And the owners of the the library cafe actually did respond and said that they were taking it into account and that mm-hmm. they're um, looking for ways to fix it and that maybe it's just a blend now of the beans or something. Pero or simply the preferences, the Yeah, but it's it's really great the the reciprocity of how this this problem yeah. happened. There was a there was an idea that uh, there was a concern Stop. that mm-hmm. was proposed. And then the owners themselves decided to respond to a it. A real discussion. What do you, what do you, think, think, what do you think of the coffee? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Have coffee? you tried it? Um, the coffee is the coffee is not bad to be honest. For the for the price, I, I tried, tried it. I'm not I a coffee drinker, it. but I haven't tried it. I think it's good. I'm not a yeah. coffee drinker. I don't. I don't. I really compare, don't. Yeah, I can't, can't compare yeah. it. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. For neither. the price, it's all right. Shots out to Genesis's mama. Oh, okay. Okay. Pero mm. for me, I just like quick side note lang. Um. Um, I love I love the comment and everything, but like yo, with Dragon Freedom, can someone comment the new live? Like, yeah, please, damn. please, ah, because it's so favorite. nice. Dude, that's my favorite. It's I keep so nice, people. as in fully book level yeah. stuff, <laughs> for sure. right? So like, ola lang, baka learning lesson then for all of us. International na, you know what? class, anak. No, because you know what? Okay, old, old story, old wise story. Yes, lolo. Okay, grumpy um, nung, nung, grandpa. Nung time namin, parang it was a common notion sa school na parang. Ay, mahal mahal tuition natin. Pangit but ang facilities. pangit ng facilities. <laughs> Yun yung time na. Kung may Dragon oh, no. Freedom Mall nung time namin. Oh my God, I hate, I hate seeing time na. <laughs> anyway, um, talagang, I'm sure ang daming ganun. Because a lot has changed. Yeah, a lot, has changed. Yeah, mm. a lot of has changed, di ba? But I think like that's lang a learning lesson for a lot of us na parang, okay, we complain when there's something to complain about. Pero sana we can show gratitude and praise when there's something to, like, like the live. The live yeah. is... Cool, dude. It's sure. like yeah, yeah. top notch. You get so motivated to study if you're there. Progress in UAN. Evolving. Revolu- <laughs> That's what we're talking about. In our okay, CPU. moving on. Okay, moving on. We have. Oh, so we're having three more. Okay. Uh, Dragon's Freedom Wall Post 19014. So it talks about. Toxic okay, I'll read it. I'll read okay, it. Go, read so. Uh, um, it's so it's, short. It's th- yeah, it's so short. But then there's a comment actually. So, kind of want to quit my varsity team. Dot, dot, dot. These girls so plastic. I can't. Sad face. So toxic. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. And then there's a comment there that says, wherever you go, there will be plastic people, varsity arts, even the cooking club. Lo- what? We have a cooking club? No. What? 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 I don't know. Okay, actually. anyway, so... This is according um, to Stephen Kyle Garcia. Please let us know where that club is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I think how to address this is actually talk to your moderator you have there's always an advisor for every um organization or team and if it's a varsity team talk to your coach then it's it's very simple you just have to uh, uh tackle it head on ganyan yeah, and so maturely. if for example after a couple of weeks you still don't feel like you're um accepted then maybe it's not for you maybe you, you could venture into something else and but it's nice that you you bring it out on Freedom Wall so that you know people can actually realize these. The teams themselves can realize these. Yeah, don't give up again. Yeah, go yeah. girl, Kai man. Kai man, Kai man. You you love what you're doing. Oh, okay. Okay, there you so go. I'll take this. Yeah. I'll take this one. So it's Dragon Freedom Wall one nine one five one. Uh, the person says, I know the hype of the election is on its rise, but can we talk about how SCMs? Already, already a failure, failure when the official, official election, election hasn't, hasn't even started, started yet. Yeah. Can you help me read this? Down? <laughs> okay. It's sad okay. how the university okay. has gone this far. The, the double, double failure, failure for SMN, SMN was bad, bad for sure, but SEM? SEM? Wow. wow. <laughs> the university isn't just for academic agendas. Organizations, organizations varsities, varsities, and other non academic systems are created, created for us to, to simulate what actually happens in the real world. I hope this gets out there. Wake, Wake up, up UNP. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. I think. Again, going back to the <laughs> fact here, na parang you know what, it doesn't matter whether you're in like politics or 
orgs or varsities, you're only as relevant as your surroundings. So, kunyari ganito, it's not the party's fault, it's not the USG's fault na walang SEM rep. Mm-hmm. No one wanted to run. And like, wala. We can't force that. Yeah. We can't yeah. force that. Yeah, so it's just sad na parang, alam mo yun, you can't, you, you can't blame that onto anyone but the community. Na parang, yes. wala na eh, wala na. Yeah. Yes. I, that that's just very weird for me. This is what I'm to- also talking about then kanina. We're in a I feel like we're in a decline. Kasi nung time <laughs> time <laughs> ko. Time ko. <laughs> time namin. Um SCM daming rep. rep. SCM is known to have a lot of reps. So maybe it's that then. Uh the, the, maybe the people got complacent, you know. Mm-hmm. Parang everyone's already expecting that. Or they sure. th- or maybe they just gen. don't see the value anymore of, yeah. you know, running. Yeah, cuz like if you look at the other schools wala nang magka- ilan lang magkalaban like majority is like running while on a post yeah. so parang um, dati like meron pang isang dragon freedom wall post din oh no? parang saying na dati talagang 7 on 7 battle talaga seven which is great seven. kasi may option i mean yeah. seven schools versus seven yeah. schools from both parties I get you, I get ngayon bungi bungi <laughs> yeah I think let's let's do something about it guys let's let's take responsibility for our community let's encourage Amen. people to uh, <laughs> you know be out there and you know help out all right okay last one last one what, all right wha- eh. what, can, what, what can this be <laughs> i wonder Pat- dragon's freedom Wall 19080 hello just Ooh, finish, finish watching dr95 <laughs> season 2 episode 2 our yeah episode, thank you for watching our second episode record of, breaking yeah, episode that? since the topic it's is fair. college identities and judging others i was expecting that the girl hosts were there Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> girls love Chica and they perceive college identities on a different way, most especially that the girls are more inclined to, to emotions. emotions. Yeah. Also, guys are based on reason talaga. Must mm-hmm. nice sana if malaman natin ang perspective <laughs> ng isang taong naka-apektuhan <laughs> sa comments ng iba and learn their ways of handling it. Suggestion oh lang naman. I love this. Yeah, yeah I mean like Thank keep you for talking to us. Basically, please, please. you're joining our discussion. Which is great. Yeah, the fact that you're posting this, it's, it's good. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not a hate comment, of course. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, we have to be honest na yeah. like, hindi rin talaga available. Yeah, so yeah. actually, just to clarify, like for everyone's information, uh, we actually pick the hosts based on their schedules because um we, like, uh, like, what we said, we all we are all part of different organizations. We have academics, so whoever is available for that, you know, for that topic for that week, then they come together, and then that's when they talk about it. That's when the discussion starts. Yeah. So as much as we want it to be there, you know, there's always the Maybe limitation. Something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then we also again we don't have the answers. Uh, this is a discussion, so you know you can you can reply to us just like this. Mm-hmm. You know, Amen. give some relevant relevant uh, comments on that. Uh, Good comments or yeah. you know relevant Any comments. Comment. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can talk about it. You know, like just hit us up, like and that's exactly what we hit want. We up. want, we want this. We hit want us up. this. You know? Yeah, we want this. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> thank Pentagon. you for your <laughs> suggestion. And uh, we'll, we'll take, take it into yeah. consideration for sure. We always sure. do that. That's yeah. true. And We're um, always trying to be better, of course. Yeah. So um, feeling go uh, this whole uh, off the wall thing. I think we we want to address then more things like thrown at us because mm-hmm. we're we're called discussion room ninety five. Just yeah. Pero pero syempre, cause we we do read them and we it does get to us right. So la, especially human. the the criticism, whether good or bad, na was said properly. For sure, we yeah. should like talk about those or at least answer their questions. Right? No, no, not now. <laughs> okay. not, not now. Not yeah. now. I'm for good na. God, me also. <laughs> All okay. right, so that wraps up this episode. Again, this is n- we don't have the answers. Uh, we just discuss topics, yeah. random topics. These are our opinions. For your our own opinions. discussion. Yeah, you can, you can hate us. You. you can wait. Us. You can wait. do anything you want. Wow. Wait, I just want to say, if you lasted this long, uh, well, catch the next uh, by oh. Thursday <laughs> or Wednesday. We have a, we have the second episode of Racing the Bar. Ooh. In documentary series, Ooh, natin. Exciting, exciting. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's yes. It's gonna be two meters higher. Than and the also, one. um, I think by soon, lalabas na yung results of the DR95 recruitment. Yeah. Join the fam. So where will we that. announce it, Kyle? Huh? Where will we announce oh, the acceptance? We're announcing it in our sites, so uh, you can go to us at Discussion Room 95 on Facebook, yeah. YouTube, Spotify, and please check us out because we're shared at Boson's page on Facebook. Thank yes. you very much. Okay. <laughs>
Thank oh you. Oh, so, I'm pagod na pagod na. Yeah, I'm really tired, but we love you guys. Yeah. Okay. So, see you guys. Thank you. Peace. Bye.